Okay? It's very important to come to the right position. If you're not getting to position number three, you can't fire your elbow. You feel the difference? So when you lift from the floor, the hardest thing is to come to the right position. So therefore, if you look at the Olympics, where you lift at the best lifters in the world, they take it very easy, the first the pull. It looks like this. Easy, 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 and now the lift. When you are a beginner, you do like this. Now you never reach position number three. So therefore, this is your best result. But you look very fast, it looks very good, but it's not. It's a bad position. Okay? Now I want you to do the, we're going to do a rest in one minute. Just feel it again. You can think it in your head and then try to pull the bar close to your body. When it gets out from the body, you're going to lose power. So it's up to you. If you want to lift like this, it's good. But not if you want to do a lot of lifts or a heavy lift. So in CrossFit, you have to do a lot of lifts. Then you need to save your power, your energy. Okay? So just try to do the same thing and lift close to the body. Watch out for your nose. Okay? Then we take a rest. Close to the body. Good? Så där. 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 <laughs> they look nice. I mean, it feels nice. We have some bars that we had that were made in China, I guess. And you can definitely tell the difference between those and these here. Not cutting the Chinese down or anything, but you know. It's technique card, when you can write down what's good for you to remember about your own technique. You think? So when I go around and I help you out, or your friend helps you out, you can just write it down. And I want you to write down two good things and one bad. So don't write down too much. Just train to be better at one thing at a time. Okay? How will call you, boss? Hey. So uh, tell me your name again. Anders. Anders, Anders Lindsjö. And uh, what's your background? My, my, my background is uh, I've been an Olympic weightlifter since 1982. Two. My first competition in Helsingborg, my hometown. So, my best result that day was uh, 32 and 37.5, and that was my result. In my body weight was like 51.4, and my best result was later. So I was snatching 175, 175, and 215 in clean and jerk. So that's my background. I did some. World Championship, European Championship, and I've been, I've been there. <laughs> I've, been, I've been training a lot, so. Nowadays, then I was uh, doing some education. I was teaching myself uh, or going to the, to the school, like everyone else. And now I work like, as a teacher in Helsingborg and have, um, I'm doing this for a living, so. How did you get um, hooked up with uh, Aleko? Aleko, they, they are the producer of the best bar in the world, so. Uh, it's just where uh, five years ago I just showed them my education and they said yes. I think there's a, there's a big market and I think this, it's very important that all people know about the lifts because they're good and then they can decide if they want to do it or not. So, but I think it's good to know. Were you on the Swedish national team? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you end up going to the Olympics? Going to the Olympics in 1980. Uh, 92, 90 in the Barcelona. It's a long time ago. So, <laughs> so I've been in the Olympics and all the all the big championships around the world. So, so that's good. How have you seen uh, has, how have you seen CrossFit affect the um, since they, they use Olympic lifts affect the Olympic lifting world? And I think it's 
I think it's good for Olympic sports. I think it's very good because if if they can spread the news about the Olympic lifts, I think it's going to be even better for the, for the heavy lifts. And I think it's uh, I think it's lovely. I think it's very good. And I think it's it's nice for me to, as a weightlifter that they are doing our lifts. And I think I think it's very very good. And I think it's going to open up the market so there's no n more knowledge about the, the Olympic lifts, and that's good. In uh, CrossFit, there's um, several workouts where there's uh, high repetition lifting, yep. um, in, uh, up to 30 reps as fast as you can. Yep. Uh, I think there's even one with 75 um, yeah. snatches. How do you how do you feel about that? Is, is that out of the tradition of Olympic lifting? And how do you feel about that? I think I think the the snatch or the cleans it's a movement. It's just a movement, and I don't think that you can say that uh, that uh, clean clean is just movement. It's it's an exercise, and it's how to solve a problem for for the Olympics game for the Olympic lifters. They how can I lift as much as possible from the ground up above your head, and uh, just solve the problem, and that that means cleans because it's good, and when it's about CrossFit is that you should lift um, 60 kilos. 20 times as fast as you can from the floor up to your your breast or up to the in the clean and jerk just to solve the problem and that means that cleans the movement cleans is very effective and that's the way I feel it doesn't matter how you lift it you should win so the purpose in in, in sports is to win and cleans and snatches is just a way to do it so I think it's smart for the uh, for crossfitters to use an old traditional way that been devel uh, developed like since 1896. So why, what you call it, uh, to develop the wheel again, or what you say, it's, it's just stupid. So you're lovely welcome to use our exercises and now it's yours as well, so it's good. Um, in the crossfit community there's a lot of talk of breakdown in form. Um, as as the number of lifts go up, yeah. and as the, and as uh, people get tired, is that um, something that's uh, familiar to you and familiar to the sport? That in high repetition, the form will break down. Yeah, it's the high repetition, the form breaks down. It's high, high weight, the form breaks down. So that's when you get tired. Uh, uh, whether it's it's a high high weight or heavy weight or it's a heavy repetitions or a lot of repetition, it doesn't matter. It's the same mistakes that makes you fail. So I think that's the same problem as we have. But you do a lot of reps, we do one. But still, it's the same the problem. Uh, some people believe that if you're not. If, if your form is not breaking down occasionally, yeah. that you're not pushing yourself hard enough, is that? Maybe, maybe, but uh, but you can we, you can feel when it's over as well. So there's a lot of uh, smart weightlifters around the world that in the, in the world champions that they can feel when there's no use to fight the weight because it's getting down anyway. And I think the same for when you do it with a bad form, you can feel when it's not good for you anymore. Just break it and you can save your energy to the next exercise. So I don't think it's good to go in overload and uh, in your spare tank all the time. So I think it's good to rest sometime. Just be smart.